Hello, here today with my mid-year freak out book tag. It's also going to be my new booktuber tag. I didn't know you put out tags. I'm very late to the game. But thank you for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. This is going to be my first ever. This is my first year here. My first six months here. Five months really. And uh, this is also my first time kind of keeping track of my reading and reading every day in a year oh. and then starting the booktube channel and everything so this is really i haven't done any top 10 lists i'm going on and on we'll get on with it uh the first topic best book the best book i've read this year was a real hard choice but i had to get uh the book of the new sun as my top pick uh, very confusing, but very rewarding. I think reading this and um, The Will of Time has made me a better reader with just understanding and, and being able just to comprehend things more better and, and just being okay not knowing what's going on. I had a problem reading where I would want like why is this why is that and I would find out that you just had to read a couple more pages and the, it would get answered but these books really you had no idea what was going on and this is one book they split up into it was a uh, one book but the publishers split it up into four and then now they come in two but uh the book of the new sun is my favorite book of the year that uh 2023 Beautifully written, like I said, confusing, not for everybody, but I think just the whole story, it was either that or my second pick, the best sequel, I chose uh, the, Will of, uh, the Gathering Storm, but I chose this as there's a sequel, a sequel, a sequel, there's just the, and maybe that's a little cheating, but I had to mention the Will of Time somewhere in here. And the story's so long, and I read it almost cons consecutively, so it's hard for me to remember what happened in book four as to book seven. I can piece it together if I really think, but... And I chose my favorite cover. It's when Rand is doing his, what are you waiting for, <laughs> to the Dark Lord? But this would also be my number two favorite book series of the year. And I uh, sequels, so a little shifty here. And uh, the next two uh, categories is, is uh, the new release, have not read, and most anticipated. And I think I have to, again, cheat a little here because I am new at reading and new at booktubing. And so all of these are pretty much new releases to me and new authors to me. I haven't read a I haven't read Martha Wells. My first uh, R.F. Cron. Uh, this was my first book with her. Uh, and that's what I wanted. I wanted to mention a book. Uh, this is probably the most anticipated one I read this year that I wanted to read. And I was a little disappointed when I jumped on YouTube and I wanted to see my favorite booktubers say, oh, I love this book too. But I got it. I, get, I got a lot of... Uh, it was good, but it, I've seen it done better. And that's okay for me because I've never seen it done before. And uh, I really loved Babel. I really, uh, just the anti-capitalism in it. I didn't know books were like that. Well, I, like I said, I'm a new reader. So forgive me for not knowing that books could be cool. <laughs> and anti-capitalism and fairy tales and changing my life really reading these stories all these stories and uh most anticipated new release i got the the murder bot i got the whole series and i'm anticipating that but this is also a new release so but i just wanted to say that yeah all of these books uh other than uh book of the new sun the expanse terry pratchett uh, death series. I'm reading these ones. A lot of these books are unread. I built my library and now I got to read it. 
but we're going on with this. Uh, most disappointed, since we just brought up The Expanse. I read all nine of the books, read the whole series. Uh, I read the, and then I bought the novellas, the short story collections and novellas. And I picked this, cup, this book because all of the, they were useless. They didn't bring anything extra to the plot. Maybe one, one story, The Churn, was my favorite one out of them. But the whole series was disappointed, disappointing to me. Uh, and I think that's because I loved the show so much. And I just saw uh, another booktuber, uh, her video, and I can't remember her name. I'm so sorry. But uh, she was talking about how she DNF'd their expanse. And I co commented that you made the right decision. The exp it was, I have, uh, they, it says somewhere, yeah, George R. R. Martin, and it says, uh, yeah, the science fiction equivalent of a song of ice and fire. It is not that. If you want George R. R. Martin and the song of ice and fire, the expanse is not for you. I have a little, I was going to make a video that said, uh, the expanse isn't. Game of Thrones, but it's the Fast and Furious in space. I'll, maybe I'll make that. If you watch this, you can make that if you read it. I didn't like it, but I could see their appeal um, for new readers and people who don't want a lot of depth, I guess. I, I, don't, I didn't think, and I don't want to be insulting to anybody who did enjoy the books. I could see why they enjoyed it. It is action-packed and high pace. And there is a story, and you get spaceships and spaceship battles, and yeah, I can see, I can see why people like it. It just wasn't for me. Uh, surprise hit. That would be uh, the Swerve, a hist my first history book, nonfiction, and this was my first history book that I read ever that I could think of. And uh, I was nervous, but it was very good. Uh, it won the National Book Award and the Pulitzer Prize, so of course it was going to be good. But this book was about a, a they called him a book hunter in the in the Middle Ages, and he was hunting down rare manuscripts of uh, Greek poets, uh, you know, like uh, Alexander the Great days, and. Uh, he would go through go through these monasteries and look for copies of a copy of a copy of a, and the main story is that he finds a copy of something that was only referenced to up until he found it and copied it uh translated it and i it was just very well written it wrote like a novel but it was a history book and it had all the details in the history lots of footnotes and but i i breezed through it i didn't even Consider it a history book. It was so good. And that was my surprising hit. And it just uh, freaks me out how you could think of how all the literature that we lost throughout the time. Like, before this guy found this, this poem, it was only referenced to in other works. And, and yeah, we still, so much lost literature. It is amazing. Uh, favorite new author. I just read this. Uh, Emmy... Miko Kandor, uh, The Archive Undying, favorite new author. Uh, this is her first debut original. She wrote uh, a Star Wars Ronin, and I seen an interview of her, and she says that you can consider this her debut original uh, novel. And it is very dense and action-packed and confusing, and if I had to give it one compliment, to make you guys want to read it, it reminded me a lot of the Book of the New Sun. Not exactly, of course, no one can compare to George Wolf. Uh, George Wolf, Gene Wolf, excuse me. But I could get the hints of it that thing, this world was already lived in and they weren't holding your hands. They, you follow along or you get lost. And I can see that a lot of people are gonna DNF this book. It's a new release, new author to me. But again, all of these people are new authors to me. Robert Jordan was a new author to me, so I just want to, uh, I have a video of uh, why you should read or uh, you need to read. I very much enjoyed this book and I want to talk to it w with more people. It just came out though, so I'm going to give people some time to read it. It is, a dense, it is a dense book. It's not one of those books that says it has 500 pages and it turns out it's probably like 400 because of all the blank spaces. No, this is a 
470 page book novel that is well worth your read lots of questions to be answered it's uh, the first of a sequence I'm not sure how many books that entails but I am happy to have found I wanted to find a series all these all the like the Wheel of Time the uh, Book of the New Sun all these series are already done I wanted to find a series that I could this is the first book and I could wait two years one year whatever I'll wait three years I, I don't know I'm not gonna <laughs> how long will I wait for the next one and I'm willing to wait I'm glad I found uh, the the downworld uh, sequence I believe is called but yes my favorite new author Emma Miko Kandor Kandon all right uh, moving on fictional crush a little uh, I don't know uh, if we had to pick one, I suppose it would be Alita and get my manga out of, get a manga in here. Because uh, I have been reading a lot of manga and Alita, she's a darling. Everybody, and then uh, three fourths of the stories, or half of the stories are people falling in love with Alita and then trying to kill her. <laughs> so, and then I chose the the cover with her in her wedding dress i just just to be a little bit more creepy that is a kind of a an odd an odd uh subject a uh, category there fictional crush but yeah alita i loved alita everybody loves alita i wish those movies would have done better uh, i don't know if they're gonna make no more movies or whatnot but read the mangas i have to pick up the second series in this uh i think she's on mars i have to look into it but Rita Lita, I loved the first ones. <coughs> uh, favorite character? Uh, who else but Conan? <laughs> Conan the Sumerian. He's not a barbarian. I wonder how that... Oh, it does say the Sumerian barbarian. So, okay. But... And he is a barbarian, but he's a Sumerian. And that's where country he's from. And I guess... Yeah, I like to say he's a Sumerian. He's not a barbarian, but I'm... Very much in love, in love with Conan too. A favorite character, Man Crush, Conan. Uh, very episodic, but that's okay. Uh, it's what you think what Conan would be. Uh, very pulpish. The pulp, the most pulpish pulp I could <laughs> I could find. Uh, violence, sexy ladies, treasure, treasure hunting. I just read the. What one did I read? I read uh no, not a witch is born. Jewels of Guana, uh, Guana, yeah, the Jewels of Guahala. But uh, yeah, he's a tre he's you know treasure hunting, killing people. My, I guess my favorite scene. I don't want to give any spoilers, but there is a scene in one of the books. It's not that one where uh, I'm always gonna remember Conan for uh, he's in trial, and he's just done with it, and he gets his chair and bashes it over the head of the judge, <laughs> and it's just such a Conan thing to do. Drinking, gambling, womanizing. There is it's made in the 1930s, so there is that little racism in there, and I don't think it's very like bad racism. I think it's just the kind of you know those are the words that they chose to use. Everybody used those words in the 1930s, and all right, okay. Uh, book that made you cry. Uh, Tosti, Tost story. Oh. Uh, what men live by i chose and i'm not gonna read it but this was a very short story it's a short story and it's um uh, yeah uh it's about an angel i'll pit it i'll pit it like that i don't i shouldn't even say that because that's a uh well it's just a short story and it's beautifully written i i i wouldn't yeah i don't want to start crying so <laughs> let's avoid that but tell a story what men want. Uh, the answer is love. What men need. What was it? What men live by. What men live by. The answer is love. Read it. It's beautiful. Uh, but to compensate that. Uh, <laughs> the words I make up, huh? Okay. Uh, the book to make you happy. Uh, more, I, I read the Disc, Discworld series. And uh, I, I, I know you're not supposed to... Uh, Pick whole series, but I'm just going to pick all of Terry Pratchett because I read the five book death uh, series and I really, it made me laugh. I didn't think a book 
would make me laugh out loud while reading. You know, I'm sitting alone in my place and I'm just laughing. The I would my favorite character is the the librarian orangutan. I, I his name escapes me, but the the librarian who's an orangutan, and just the whole uh, university, the unseen magic uh, university. I believe the professors uh, bickering with each other, just very well written, uh, and then just the uh, the commentary and the satire, uh, the politics. He talks about being homeless and. All these books, uh, the whole Death series, read the Death series, read Discworld, read Terry Pratchett, R.I.P. Uh, you know, one thing I'm sad about being a new reader, I didn't know uh, Robert Jordan died when I started the Will of Time books. I didn't know that. I didn't know who Brandon Sanderson was. I didn't know who Terry Pratchett was. And now they're gone. And I, I you know, I. Being a new reader, I feel like I'm missing out already. And that just makes me miss, feel like I'm missing out more. A little personal note there. But, okay, uh, the most beautiful book. I've had a lot of books, but... And th I, th look at this cover. My Nemesis by uh, Charmaine Craig. And a beautiful story. Uh, probably would have been one of my, uh, surprised, my surprise hits if it wasn't for the history. Because I did find this in the Little Free Library, and I, uh, I, it was amazing. I want to reread it. It's a short book, and I have a, a review of it. Not a very good review. None of my reviews are very good, honestly. But I very much enjoyed it, and I still think about it. And I want somebody to talk to this. I want somebody to talk with about this book with. And maybe I'll, I'll find somebody. Uh, the, my video has been getting some views, so was, people are reading it. And I wish uh, this art, I, th I think she's a new author too. But this book is about uh, a woman trying to steal another woman's husband. And uh, we'll leave it at that. I'm trying not to do any spoilers. Uh, that was my beautiful book. Yeah. Beautiful. It, it looks like a piece of art, something that you would hang in your office or something. Not your office, your house, your beautiful house. Uh, what I need to read, I, uh, last category, what I need to read, uh, I recently joined some book clubs and, uh, I just, I went to them the yesterday and I got some, the next books I got to read and going to book clubs. That was very fun and, uh, met people and everybody was friendly. If you don't go to book club, go to book clubs, go to your look up local book clubs. That's hard. I was a little shy i'm a shy person always and but everybody's friendly nobody's everybody's a bookworm like you or they want it they want to socialize they're, they're just as nervous as you are and you'll probably be you'll probably not be the only new person there um people i've realized i need to get out more and if i'm gonna do this book two thing and just if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it all the way. I'm going to join the book clubs. I'm going to join a couple of Patreons. Oh, probably just one. But I'm going to get into some book reads or some other booktubers, hopefully. I know nothing happens overnight. And I think about it now that I'm only only five months into there. And I already got 11, 13 subscribers. And that's amazing for me. I didn't think I was going to get that many. And now I, I got to stop myself because I'm comparing myself to booktubers who have done this for years, even years and years. And they got like a few hundred book uh, subscribers and I'm comparing myself a bit to them. And so I got to stop that because this is a new channel and uh, follow and grow with me. You know, uh, see me see me go from this, the uh, the poor person's booktuber to uh I don't know. We'll see. But uh, the books I'm going to have to read. The Nuclear Family is for my uh, book club in the park. And then The Scent Keeper. I don't have to read this. This was a white elephant kind of book club. Uh, but I'm going to show up next month. And I'm sure I'm going to see the woman that uh, I got the book from. And I want to be able to talk about it. And it, it, it does seem good about a, a, a girl who has an enhanced sense of smell. And I don't want to make it sound foolish because it sounds very, I don't want to read it all, but it has to do with family, lost and found, and uh, childhood stories, and 
fragrances that conjure memories. So it's, it, it, you know, it's more about, it's, I don't want to do it. Uh, I'm sure it's very lovely and I want to read it. And then the nuclear family, I believe is about a South Korean family that moves to America. I'm not sure 100%, but these are the books I, I want to read and have to read. And then for my own personal, I'm going to start, maybe not this month, but I'm going to start reading series again. After I got done with The Will of Time and The Expanse, I wanted to take some time uh, to read some standalones. And so I'm going to, the next series I'm going to get is the Dragon Bone Chair, the Memory, Sorrow, Memory, Sorrow, Sorrow and Thorn. And I'm excited about this. I'm pitting, I'm making myself. These are, this is going to be the next series. And uh, the murder bot. You heard that live. <laughs> well, not live, but I said it, so I'm going to do it. Those are going to be my next series that I'm going to start. Murder bot, memory, sorrow, thumb. And uh, yes, that's going to be my mid-year freak out book tag. However I label it. And my uh, new book tuber tag. I hope it's not cheating, or I hope it doesn't hurt the algorithm. I know not many people are watching these, men, but if you are watching, thank you for watching all the way. Uh, it does really, like like I said, it shouldn't. I shouldn't feel so happy that I get a view, but I do, and that's just uh, the human, your lizard brain. Oh, you know, candy. Oh, uh, shiny lights. Oh, somebody likes me. You know. That's how they get you, though. But. Uh, I'm playing the game, and this is my book tag, my book tags. So thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Keep on keeping on.